pick up the KTM bike uh, in a second, but first I gotta get breakfast. We have a long day ahead of us, of course. It's a bit gloomy, unfortunately, so fingers crossed there's not gonna be any rain. But we did buy some uh, waterproof clothing just in case. Let's get some food, and I have a big day ahead of us. Seattle. Ooh, looks good. Great breakfast, belly full, ready to rock the show. Let's go see the bike. Good morning. And push down. And it's charging. It makes a small click. Yeah. Just three minutes push down, no? Huh? Oh, yes. Push down on the sides. Side. Don't know if you can see there, we still don't have the plate number. So here it takes quite a time uh, to get it. So uh, the law is if you buy a new bike, you have seven days to drive it to your home. So I have seven days to drive back home and then I get the official ORCR uh, after two or three weeks. And then it's uh, complete. But if you have like the invoice, the documents from your dealership, so when you get stopped at the port, then they, uh, they let you through. And instead of a regular plate number, we put the engine number on. Five liter bags, 55 on each side. Then the next thing we gotta do is to pack all of the stuff into the boxes and the side bags. All right, first right. Is it okay? Can I take a photo? Of course. Of course. Good looking bike. Gotta get some gasoline. Thank you, thank you, Jonas. I forgot to speak, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Holy moly guys, I forgot I'm recording. This is crazy. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going. We have to find fuel, we love the tank. This might be the hardest thing I've ever done here in the Philippines. Full food, ready like a pig, probably 40 degrees Celsius. Not to say I've never ever tried it in Manila daytime. Holy moly, getting out of the city here. It's been one hour so far. This bike is incredible, it's so smooth, the power, everything is. Oh my god! Whew. So we can't do a full throttle, we're still in the uh, sort of our first test run uh, drive which is about 1000 kilometers, slow drive and then we have to change the oil but wow, it is so smooth guys, when we go in over any bumps, any rocks, any holes, it's just do, 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 smooth as butter, okay, but the traffic here is crazy, 
So uh, I have a hard time filming and doing so many content. So uh, I think I will just turn back on the camera when we get to Batancas. Really, uh, we're really late. I'm not sure if we're gonna get the ferry, but we'll see. minutes to 3 p.m. Both days 4. So we're good. Oh my god, I love this type of adventure in the Philippines because it's always a mission. You have no idea what to do. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Adventures here are just so much fun, like you have no idea what to do, where to go, but it's always fun because the Filipinos enjoy helping. It's already morning, we just stayed in any time. Yeah, no problem. Oh, this is awesome guys, I love ports in the Philippines. I love it! Which side? Shout out to the apprentice seafarers here in Batangas Port, making sure the bike is okay. Good job, guys! Yeah! <laughs> and the boys we're talking to, by the way, that's doing the shout out there, that's a pretty cool story. They're doing their degree in uh, seafarers or seamanship. So they've already finished the, uh, the written stuff, and then they do have to do a one year at location before they get the degree, and then they usually go out at sea. And if you didn't know, I think it's like one out of five on the planet is a Filipino seaman. So workers on ships, it's an unbelievable amount of numbers of Filipinos. It's, a un it's, a it's incredible. I never knew that before. So it's, a it's very interesting to meet these guys. Uh, you can definitely tell here the Philippines is a perfect location to get that education because it's islands. There's a lot of ships, there's a lot of ports. So they have the experience and the language, of course, in English. Anyways, uh, I'm not sure how much the, the ticket costs here, but uh, for my bike was 3,700 pesos, quite a bit, to go to Romplo Romplo. We'll be arriving there around 5 or 6 a.m., they're saying. But uh, yeah, I'm not staying in the uh, tourist one, the air conditioning. For me, it's way too cold. This is perfect, natural breeze. Let me show you my bed. So uh, you have to find your numbers. So I'm 78 and here's my bed. Soft enough, decent pillow. And then you, when the ship is moving, it's gonna be so nice breeze, perfect. Even now, there's a breeze. The mission, we're gonna be arriving super early in the morning, hopefully sunrise already. We're gonna check into a resort that I already talked to yesterday. And uh, we'll see how it goes from there. I have to get some food. There's like a hundred peso chicken rice meal. Let me show you guys what they did for my bike. Because it only has a small paddle here, a tiny one. They actually attached it with a rope here, so that's a very nice job. Even put a, like a cushion here for a soft, so no damage on the bike. And uh, attached it all the way up there. at the same time sunset it's about 5 30. this is life guys engine on goodbye batangas eight hours later we arrived in Tablas Island. Look at that. Never been here, never been on the island, so it doesn't count. 
We still have a long way to go to Romblon. Back to sleep, I guess. <laughs> beautiful in the morning good morning everybody that was awesome sleep and now the breeze is waking me up we're almost there Romblon in the background Romblon Romblon I'm sorry that's a uh, topless island in the background Romblon is further there so we still have a little bit to go 14 hours of row road two hours of driving three in one coffee and you're known you're an uh, epic Philippines adventure. <laughs> dive set here in Romblon. I just want to find a couple of new species here and then we go roam around the island. Beautiful the day. Flat ocean. Should be a good one. Logbon Island. Wow look at that. Aqua blue water crystal clear. Welcome to Logbon Island. That is beautiful here. That is so clear. Anchor in the sand, very good. All right, let's jump in. We're gonna try to find the Ghost Malibe, the holy grail of all nuribracks. grail of nudibranchs in the uh, nudibranch community and uh, it's been spotted uh, most of the time in the Philippines here in Romblon in this dive site and then uh, recently it's also been found in Monacholi in Malapascua then uh, of course in Anilao and in uh, Davao and Samal Island so they've been uh, spotted in uh, quite a few spots here in the Philippines but uh, take that one off the bucket list super happy I must admit I fell asleep after two dives. Uh, not the greatest sleep of course on the row rows. <laughs> 14 hour row road trip, but here 
Let me show you the uh, resort. It's called the 3P Resort, and uh, it's a huge, spacious room. Some more stuff. the reaction of the kids when they see a drone. Not sure if it's the first time, but possible. We're on the uh, very remote area of Romblon, so it's uh, highly likely. All right, stopping on the side of the road. We are on the eastern side of Romblon. The sun is behind us. Sunset on the west side, of course. But yeah, found a pretty nice view area. And there in the distance, that's Sipuan, Sipuan Island, I believe it's called. Sorry if I'm butchering that. Quite near. That's a place I'll go one day on my bike. That's for sure. It has an epic mountain called Gitan, Gitan or something like that. But it's extremely difficult hike. So it's not something I can do right now because we got to remember, get back to Negros in time. We got seven day period before my... Um, a license expires uh, yeah if you buy a new motorbike you have seven days to bring it back home with the official receipt of the bike let's try uh, some uh, off-road wow. <laughs> it's because under construction that's why but you can still go up okay that's okay thanks bike thank you sir okay. One of these spots you have to stop you have to park it take it easy and take a look at the view beautiful island that'd be fun to swim across there nice sandbar clamp up that little green hilltop beautiful lighthouse let's continue 